Hey, Bentbrook here. I want to share a demo of Pat's Backcountry Beverages Carbonator Bottle. Before I demonstrate the system in the backcountry, I want to show you how the lid works. The lid has a lever and a lock on it, and if you invert the bottle with water filled in it and pull the lever down, it draws a measured amount of water into the lid. The water held in the lid will subsequently be injected back into the carbonation chamber, which contains the carbonation powders. This will start a chemical reaction that will eventually carbonate the beverage. What I'm going to do now is show what happens when you pull the lever with the bottle in the upright position. Release the lock, pull the lever, and you'll see the water shoot into the bottle. Ordinarily, this would go into the carbonation chamber. Today in the Uwaris, I'm using the bottle to carry some water, so I'm just drinking off enough to get down to the line that indicates 16 ounces on the side of the bottle, right here. I'll set that aside for a moment while I dry out the carbonation chamber thoroughly. This is an essential part of the process, because any moisture in here could prematurely start the reaction that will eventually carbonate the beverage. The carbonation chamber holds 1.5 ounces. It will take the contents of a carbonation packet, two powders that are held separately in separate compartments, which I will tear open here and pour into the carbonation chamber, thereby mixing the two powders. All that needs to be added is the water that's in the cap, and I will have a reaction that will actually carbonate a beverage, beer or soda, in the backcountry. Now I screw the water-filled lid onto the carbonation chamber, and I'll just set this aside for the time being in anticipation of adding the concentrate liquid into the main container of the bottle. Concentrate is also accessed via tearing open a package and then squeezing this thick sort of syrupy liquid into the bottle of water. I will now add the lid back to the bottle, flip the lever to squirt the water into the carbonation chamber, and then I'll start vigorously shaking it side to side in the fashion you see here for about one or two minutes until the carbonation is thoroughly mixed into my beverage concentrate, and the beverage concentrate and water mixture is also thoroughly mixed. I've done anywhere from a minute to two minutes. And that's all there is to it. I release the valve on top to let out the excess pressure from the carbonation, unscrew the top carefully, which I will then set aside, and I can now use my bottle as a drinking cup to sample the beverage inside. And today, a rather unseasonably warm day in winter, this Pat's Backcountry Beverage Root Beer tasted awfully good. Check out my full review on trailspace.com.